Hi, I'm Nathaniel. This TE6 battery capacity tester can be used to measure the capacity and internal resistance of camera batteries. Three things you can do to spot low quality batteries is to weigh and squeeze them to make sure everything is there. Then see if they spin, which can mean a cell is expanding towards failure. Being hot to the touch while charging is another bad sign. One final hack to gauge capacity would be to see how long a camera can record video for. I want to be able to track batteries over time and to know how badly I am getting lied to. Which is why there are affiliate links in the description where you can buy a TEC06 for yourself. It uses mini USB despite everyone being willing to pay more for USB-C. The USB power adapter needs to output at least one amp. It works by turning power into heat, which is dissipated by the heat sink and fan. Settings are controlled by the encoder wheel. The first position starts a test when the encoder is pressed. It will display the cumulative discharge amp hours while the test is ongoing. When the test is complete, the total will flash. The next position shows the current battery voltage. Knowing the voltage of what your camera considers a depleted battery is important for the next setting, which is the battery cutoff voltage for a test. Pressing down on the encoder will allow the value to be changed. This value determines when a test will end. I use the value of a depleted battery as checked previously. Choosing a value too low can damage a battery. Next is the discharge rate. This will determine how quickly the battery is discharged in milliamps. This should roughly match how long video can be recorded with an OEM battery. Divide the capacity by hours of video to determine the discharge rate. For example, a battery with a capacity of 1000 milliamp hours, which could record two hours of video, would result in a discharge rate of 500 milliamps. The last spot will show the internal resistance if wires are hooked up to the V- and V- terminals. The higher the internal resistance, the worse the condition of a battery, and it is more likely to get hot during charging. Tracking internal resistance over time will allow you to spot failing batteries. The most difficult part of the setup is figuring out ways to rig up batteries. I made some leads by soldering nickel strips to wires and covering them in shrink tubing. I hacked apart a universal battery charger. I've also used third-party battery chargers. That's all you should need to know to get started testing batteries. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.